Hi everyone, it's Michelle Ramon coming to you from my couch. Uh, I stayed home all day. Uh, today was Martin Luther King Day, so happy Martin Luther King Day. And um, I pray that someday, you know, the racial uh, stuff will go away. The racial, like, slayings of these cops killing people. It's just like really a nightmare. So, um, you know, without Martin Luther King defending you know, black people and uh, Hispanics and people that aren't totally white. You know, he defended other people too, not just the black community. So we just want to give props to Martin Luther King today. My dad loves Martin Luther King. <laughs> I don't want to be in the mirror. Yeah, I had a pajama day today <laughs> and I slept all day. It did me some good. I know I lost, I was supposed to go to the gym, but then I thought about it and I'm like, is the gym even open today? Because it's a holiday. So I just stayed home in my PJs. I don't even know what these say. It just says a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was like, what is this? So I was in my PJs all day and I slept all day and it was so wonderful. I just got up to make some food and I didn't make food till like lunchtime. So I made some tacos with little baby kale. It was it was like kale, but it, I didn't see the kale in there. I was like, it's supposed to be like kale and spinach, but all I saw was the spinach and the purple leaf um, spinach. I was like, I don't see no kale. So I was just like, that was weird. It said that it had kale and spinach, but there was no kale in there. So I was like, what? So I don't know. Maybe I looked at the bag wrong, or maybe I bought the, a bag with just, spinach and then the other one was the kale and the spinach so I got to look at it again but um it was healthy I made some ground beef with um tomatoes and then threw some taco seasoning in there and just made some tacos just real quick like nothing major I didn't have no sour cream or none of that just uh cheese lettuce and the tomatoes <clears throat> and then I I put the tomatoes inside and I didn't really fry the shells because I'm trying to be a little more health conscious, so I put them in the oven, but um, they do taste good when they're fried too, so either way, um, it's a little snack, um, so then I ate that for dinner, just two more tacos, um, so what I really wanted to talk about too today um, is just um, having, having yourself um, like take care of yourself and um I was just watching a video just I posted it on my Facebook page because I, I love a lot of the YouTubers videos um I was just watching one and she was saying you know like um don't be a people pleaser that is such a good topic you know we should never be a people pleaser if anything you know just take care of you first and then pray a lot you know trust God um, some people have different religions and that's fine. You know, whatever they believe in, I'm not against it. Um, but I put some cocoa butter all over my face today and it took me a while to get that grease off my hands. Cause I was like washing my hands with Dawn like five times today to get, cause my face was all greasy and my hair was all greasy, but I know tomorrow my hair is going to be in good condition and my skin too. I tried to put, you know, like this isn't a ring. Like, well, this is a ring, but I'm not engaged yet. I'm still waiting. Um, I'm waiting on God, you know, and I have I have people that have proposed to me and that was so sweet. It's just that I can't get my, I can't move on right now until I get my divorce. So I'm working on that. They're supposed to be sending me another packet. So it's a process because, you know, you want to try to give your marriage a try, even though I never had a marriage. It was just a joke. It was like he was there. He was gone most of the time. And it was a joke. I never had a second marriage. The second marriage was worse than my first marriage. I would actually take my first husband back any day now after I've seen what's out there. It's like, oh, my gosh. So uh, <laughs> he's probably going to watch this video and laugh. Be like, ha. Huh? No, but there's just a lot of it's it's been like that in the dating world. You know, there's not a lot to choose from. I mean, I haven't seen anything like I, I have, but it's like, you know, I see other people in these good relationships, not me. 
I'm not in a good relationship as far as like I've never seen. I've always gotten the same damn types like and I'm like, why? So that's why I don't even put myself out there no more. I'm just saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled. And I'm happy about that. I'm content with that because Jesus says, be content with what you have. Even if you don't have anybody, be content. So that's another good topic that we could talk about um, when I'm in my Bible mode. I was I just got through from smoking a bunch of weed because I was depressed. And I'm just being honest. It's like, well, I was depressed. I was smoking a bunch of weed. I was like, you know, I just said I, you know, just kind of gave up for a little while. Uh, not on God. I never give up on God, but I gave up on just uh, being clean and sober. I was like, you know... I need this weed right now. It was helping me. So, you know, whatever works. But I'm not encouraging it. As a Christian woman, I would encourage you to just get joy and peace from God. Because you're going to destroy your temple of God. It's different if you're like, maybe if you eat an edible, that will calm you down and help you sleep. I'm not saying that weed isn't good medicine. It's very, very good medicine. But like if you're smoking it and you're a born-again Christian, supposedly... You know, your body is the temple of God. Just like it says, honor God with your body, which means don't have sex unless you're married. So we are to honor God with our bodies and He let him dictate your life. You know, basically give your life to him. I've given my life to him over and over and over again. And I've sinned over and over again. And I regretted that because sin never pans out. It's fun and everything. It's just like if you go to an amusement park one day and you're having a good old time. You know, it's fun. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying, you know, have an even balance. You know, like, you should pray regularly the Our Father Who Art in Heaven prayer. And supposedly the devil doesn't hear your prayers when you're saying the Our Father Who Art in Heaven prayer. And me and my kids used to say that before bed all the time. We would just, that would be the our prayer. We would say the Our Father Who Art in Heaven prayer. And I hope that everybody does it because, you know, it's the best prayer you could do. Um, and um, being baptized as a Catholic baby, I was a baptized Catholic, but I never, you know, did the whole uh, traditional Catholic ceremonies. Like I never had a consignment and all that. And they tried to convert Desiree recently to being a Catholic, but she, they never gave her a consignment. So it's like, why are you messing with my daughter's minds? You know, you guys have traumatized my daughters enough. Like the CPS people are really evil people. They don't do anything really good for your kid that you couldn't do for your kid. My kids were doing fine before these people came along and interrupted our fun and viciously ripped them from their emotional needs pet, but they will get theirs from God. I'm, I'm still looking for a lawyer. Um, I'm not going to give up. Even uh, my case got turned down for San Diego lawyer, and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep looking for a lawyer, um, even if I have to sue the Gilroy Police Department for um, obstruction of justice. Or if I have to do it myself, I'll try to do it again myself, a slander and libel lawsuit, because they said I was at risk for being homeless when I had a two-year contract living where I was at. I didn't mean to get off topic, because that's a bad subject of losing your kids for eight years just for volunteering for a parenting class. Um, which was absurd because I've had high extensive classes as a child care worker. And then it's like so rude. It's so disrespectful, you know, to try to uh, force my kids out of their home. And when they were doing good with me, you know, they don't know what goes on in my home. I, they were doing good, you know, so they will get punished by God because Jesus says vengeance belongs to the Lord. So I pray for that day to come that I will see the vengeance upon these evil people that did that to me and my children. And we are still suffering from nightmares, trauma, emotional damage, uh, anxiety. These are medical conditions we never had. So, um, you know, I just, and I'm just using it because it could be a testimony someday to somebody that needs to hear, you know, hear about God's word and what God could do and how he could turn anything around the kids are doing good, but they would have done good with me too. And it really broke my heart how my family did not support me getting them back, which I would have supported them getting back their children or 
took in their children for them. So, you know, that's a very heartbreaking thing as well. So there's a lot of that going on. There's, um, you know, there's people that are rich and then they won't help their less fortunate family members, you know, and I think that that is bad too. You know, and I'm going to talk about it. You know, I, I'm going to get a, a degree in communications someday and a criminal justice degree. And I might, you know, work for the police or something. I don't know. And maybe I'll help find missing children or whatever it is, you know, whatever God has called me to do. Um, he's been telling me to, to do therapy, to be a therapist. So I'm thinking of doing that to push myself through college is be a therapist, to push myself through college. I'm working on being like a Christian therapist and, um, you know, doing private sessions with my friends, people that I know that already need me really badly. And I've been doing that and it's been really helping me too, you know, because when you hear about someone else's problems, you don't feel so bad about yours. You're like, oh yeah, that is bad, <laughs> you know, but, but then, you know, yours can be really bad too. But I was at this, um, blood plasma place one day and I was talking to this lady and she really took the cake. I was like, oh my gosh, her, her kid died, her husband died, everything was just, everything was horrible. She got a bad roommate. I was like, I thought I really, I thought I had it bad. But when you hear someone else's sad story, you're just like, no, you, you did take the cake on that one. <laughs> but I want to wrap it up because I don't want to sit here all day and talk. But today is pajama, <laughs> pajama Martin Luther King Day Monday. <laughs> Have a blessed night, and I'm glad that you uh, chose me to subscribe to my channel. Um, like it and share it with your family members or friends if you feel like it would be encouraging or, you know, just um, just having someone down to earth, you know, that, that um, has gone to college. I have gone to college, but I don't have the degree. Um, so I just hope and pray for everyone um, that is on my YouTube channel that um, sometimes I can't, you know, text you back or whatever, but I'm going to check tonight and see if anybody's reached out to me and um, I appreciate you. So I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, but let's, let's end with a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Waking us up is a blessing. Um, getting us to sleep is a blessing. Giving us that peace of mind we need. I needed that peace of mind today, Lord. I slept all day. And I know I burned calories in my sleep. <laughs> That's another thing. That if you don't make it to the gym, just take a nap. Because you do burn calories while you're sleeping. It's a just a health tip that I I know a lot of. I read sometimes when I find that stuff. But thank you, Jesus, for getting us to today. We made it another day in the land of the living. And I just pray that everybody would um, be blessed by watching my YouTube channel. And that, you know, there's more to come. And hopefully I can um, be a blessing to my, to my subscribers in Jesus' name. Amen.